I'm from Detroit originally, and I got an MFA from Cranbrook Academy of Art in the Detroit area. And um, in 2014, I moved to Los Angeles, and that move had a transformational impact on my work and on myself, and that's been uh, almost 10 years now. Um, my work on display is in conversation with the history of still life painting. There's a motif of flowers framing um, the central focus in each image and I've used this house shaped prism that I found in an um, antique shop. All of my paintings are centered around found objects that I'm exploring through photography and then um, working from a photograph to paint. In both of these object, in both of these paintings, I thought that the um, house-shaped prism became an associative vessel for thinking about the consciousness in the body and what a house is. Thinking of the body as a house and um, sort of studying the prism, refracting everything around it, and thinking about that in relation to perception and experience. So the house is a stand-in for the body and then observing the way that it refracts the flowers around it, the horizon, and the empty space. And then underneath there's a spider in another prism enclosed in a um, glass cube. And the spider represents, sort of acts as the tension in the painting because the painting's very ethereal and harmonious. The spider acts as the um, underwriting current of anxiety and provides tension for the sort of, um, yeah, more ethereal quality in the rest of the painting. Yeah, I'm really interested in the found object as a souvenir, as a miniature of experience, and then thinking then of the painting as a souvenir um, and a stand-in for experience. A lot of my paintings have the suggestion of a narrative without needing to impose a linear storyline of any kind. So within the object, I think there is a reading into or a personalization for the viewer of um, trying to understand where this object came from and what its significance is. I hope that viewers are able to engage with the aspects of the work that speak to a broader human experience that is universal and timeless and I think that the main thing that the work communicates is the possibility for two conflicting things to exist at once like talking about um, pleasure and fear or anxiety or harmony and tension and how these things are both existing at the same time and sort of embracing that aspect of the human experience and finding um, comfort in that. Mm -hmm.